So your gas gauge is here. The gas tank is going to be on the left hand side as indicated by the arrow right by the gas tank. Yep. Your low tire pressure light will be located here. The check engine light will always come on until you start the car, then it will go off. Okay. If it stays on while you're driving, let me know immediately. Okay. Mode will we'll switch through tuner, satellite, CD, whatever you have plugged in. Okay. And then you can select by hitting the right button. Okay. The left one is for your volume. And then turning the volume off, turning the whole system off itself. Got it. Saving a channel. So, for example, if we're going to save one, we can go to categories, which you just press right underneath here. Go to category, select the channel you want, right? Hit back to where the channel is highlighted, and then hold. So now that's what? chill. Yeah. And so now it's saved in there and you can you can override those anytime. You've got twelve on each on each band essentially. Okay. And that's for your satellite. Okay. Um, CD player, pretty self explanatory there. Yep. Automatic climate control, so just like the thermostat in your house, you just select the temperature you want it. How do I select oh right here on right the right? Here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it will keep the the temperature in the car at a constant sixty eight. Okay. You can change the zones here, but it'll automatically take the the auto control off until you go back. And then your fan speed here, okay. which again kicks off auto, so you have to reset auto. Okay. Heated seats. Mine first, and yours. Yep. First time you press it, it should be on high. Two is medium, one is low, and then off. Three degrees. Okay. Pretty toasty on three. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. These are your front. These two here are for your front windows. These two are for your rear. Okay. These are your door locks here. Oh, cool. That's to lock the rear window. So when the kids are back there, they're not messing with the windows. Yeah. You just hit that there. Safety lock. Front fog lamps, which will be indicated up there as well. Oh, okay. Got it. Sport mode, which we've you, already. Do you just over. leave those on? Not usually, unless it's raining, and then I turn them on. Okay. Sport mode we've already been over, and then traction control, which you'll never have to switch off here in the south. It, it won't ever get that bad. Okay. But that's if you're on icy conditions, you can turn that. Uh, traction off. Mm -hmm. Okay. Got it. Okay. Were there any other bubbles up here that, that you didn't hit? No, you'll notice... Um, there's an airbag, check engine light, cruise control, which is going to be located over here by setting it on right there. Oh, this right here? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then your volume and track control there on the left-hand side. Okay. This looks like Bluetooth. That way, if the, if the car was had voice activation, that's how it would be activated. Okay. This is how you would answer um, and terminate phone calls just by the little phone dial there. Okay. Uh, starting at the top. You have your map light for okay. driver and passenger. Mm -hmm. Dome light here. Okay. This light right here changes the interior, the ambient light. Yep. Which you can press forward to select whichever one you want. Okay. Pulling it back changes the brightness. Intensity, you got it. Mm -hmm. So to go down to the lowest setting and blink, hold it again, it'll take it to the brightest setting. Okay. Now, if you, if you hold this forward, and long press it and wait till it blinks it'll go through the whole spectrum of colors so now it'll cycle through all the colors disco got it right or you can just choose whichever one you want yeah blue works. go back again okay and then the center one is going to be your controls for your um, panoramic moonroof okay pressing it one time will vent both front and back Okay. Press and hold, and it releases the back one back into the flat position, and then open it up the top. Okay. And then press it.
press forward to close. And there you go. Awesome. So they always open together. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Now, over here to the what is called your your windshield wiper stock. Here on the end, which is what I use mostly, mm -hmm. is your automatic wiper setting. Okay. Press on the end here. Little icon will pop up in the front. Let mm -hmm. you know your automatic wipers are on. Okay. They're not only speed sensitive, but they're also rain sensitive. So it'll measure the rain hitting the windshield and turn them on and off accordingly. Okay. So on days like today, we're going through pockets of rain or it's spotty showers. Just hit that and let it do its thing. Okay. And then once you turn the car off, it will it will default back into the off position. Perfect. Otherwise, you can do it traditionally by pressing down for a swipe or pressing up for slow and then back to back down one to turn it off okay on right here controls the rear wiper got it anytime you're in reverse and you have that on the rear wiper will remain on okay and then turn it off mm -hmm. and of course pulling it back for you just like every other car will spray the windshield yep and your turn signals down once so down once is going to give you if you tap it one time mm -hmm. it's a lane change indicator so okay. it's going to blink three times okay and then turn that's what i wasn't off. getting by right. the way i was like uh, what am yep. I doing? okay if you hit it down all the way again it's not a hard click <clears throat> but if you tap it down all the way that's going to be your actual turn indicator okay so there's two different settings on there which you have to get used to again if you tap it just one time It'll just do the three blanks, tap it all the way down, is for your turn indicator. Okay. Um, your lights are now set on. Once I tap it all the way down, turn indicator's on, and I do a lane change, how do I tell it to stop? Just tap it again. Tap it down again. Yep. Or tap it in the same either, direction. Either way. Okay. Yeah, just tap it again. Okay. The lights now are set on automatic. Yep. So again, you never have to touch them. Right. You always have you always have your daytime running lights, which are going to be like the lower fog lights. Those are always be on, um, unless you switch it off. Okay. Which you can just consult the owner's manual and going through the steps on how to how to turn that on and off. Okay. Now, on the end of this button, if you press through, right press here? through that. Yep. And you'll watch what happens here in the center instrument. So it'll oh, change the information that's displayed. Got it. Current MPG, this is average mile per hour, time, temperature. Ah, now stay here. Okay. So, if you if you get a low tire pressure, this is where you would come to recalibrate it. So you'll want to come to set info and long press the button. So just press and hold to enter the menu. Okay. Press through that, short press. Check info will have any major major services that need to be done so check through that service info is where you're gonna to have to come to look and see when the car needs service it'll tell me it now mm -hmm. just long press it so we're gonna see you again according to the car in August okay for your oil change okay cool and then press one more time that, that'll be your front brakes what's which, the what's the 3100 mean in 3,100 miles, you'll need oh. front brakes. Okay. Rear brakes. 8,000 miles of oil change. Oh, I'm sorry. So 8,000 miles in your when your oil change. So that won't be until um, the 17th, July 17th, or whatever comes quicker, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. And then go back to set info one more time. Press through it until you get to set info and then log press it. Oh, gotcha. Okay. And then keep clicking through it until you get to, there's your active tire. So you would long press to activate the reset for your tires. Meaning I just got a flat or I just, re or they just changed my tire? If this, if this little icon pops up, that's where you would go. Okay. To reset it. So you'd flip, you go all the way to the active that active reset uh -huh. and you long press it okay. and then drive and then it'll reset the tire pressure. Okay. If you have a flat, then that's, and it stays on, mm -hmm. then that's when you need to call and have it looked at. Okay. Anything else in there? 
yep, there is one other setting I want to take you to. And this you're going to have to walk through the owner's manual to understand exactly what we're talking about. Because it's tricky. It's pretty tricky. But I've went ahead and set everything for you. Okay. In terms of the door locks, <laughs> daylight, running lights, everything else. Is it in here? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, so press through that. One more. What's this do? That is for your change your unit measurements. Oh, okay. Now long press here. This is where you change all of the, so <laughs> turning on, turning on and off the, the audible um, alarm system. Okay. Just keep pressing through. Uh, door lock settings. Yeah, both of those are door lock settings. Welcome lights. So how long the lights stay on when you unlock the car. Mm -hmm. Daytime running lights. And the blinkers. And that's it. Okay. And again, that you'll have to, the best way to do that if you want to tweak anything is just to go through the owner's manual and okay. just do it step by step. Okay, cool. Now, let's get your phone paired up to Bluetooth. All right, I'm going to turn this off then. Nothing else with the dash or any of that? Nope. 